Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday, May 29th. What we got today, tomorrow, and Friday? We got three more days in May, guys, and then we're going to be flipping the calendar again. I get it. I get it. It's May 29th, 2024. It is 412 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak and record. Let's praise and give God glory first right now. Anybody watching that, just, just, man, just pause and say, praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to be to God. Just keep saying it. Just keep saying it. And I continue to thank each and every one of you. I'll keep saying that also. I hope that does not get old because you're going to hear it every time you watch these videos. I thank you for joining and I praise God for every one of you. Today's title, guys, and as I was reading this one, skimming over it, reading our scriptures, looking at backgrounds, I don't know if some feelings are going to get hurt or not. But this is going to be real. This is going to be backed up 100% by the word of God. Again, I, I pray and I surrender to God that he would just use this vessel to speak. Again, I go back and watch these. And sometimes I watch them. I'm like, oh, my. No wonder you're going to lose some subscribers and things like that. But guys, you know what? We need that. Again, that, that, that verse, a slap from a friend is better than a kiss from an enemy. There's so many of us out there walking around calling ourselves Christians that need that wake up call. And this video might be one of them. I don't know. I don't know. It spoke to me as I was glancing over it, but let's just see what it says. Um, our study scriptures is Galatians chapter three, verses 23 through 29 is what's going to be highlighted on today's link. And I've got that highlighted in the NIV. I like the way it was worded talks about you know it, it talks about you being being sons of god and i know guys let this speak to you let this speak to you because this is the scriptures that say let's just go ahead and read it verse 28 there is neither jew nor gentile neither slave nor free nor is there male or female for you are all one in christ jesus and that's our lead off verse um and the new king james says you are all one in christ we're all one guys we are all one in Christ. We got to quit seeing skin color. We got to quit seeing gender. Now, man, we're not going to get on that whole twisted gender thing that's going on in today's world right now. Guys, you know what I'm saying. We go back to Genesis 1. God created man and woman, male and female. He created man, male and female. That's it. Two options. We're not going to get into it, but uh, you know what I'm saying, guys. And the slave, the free, the Jew, the Gentile, guys. What this boils down to is we are all one in Christ. And look at the background. I don't know if you can see it right now, but when I get towards the end of this video, if, if God reminds me, I'm going to close my camera lens just so you can stare at this picture. You, you, hopefully you can make you can make out Christ here with the crown of thorns, his arms stretched out, dying for all. Jesus Christ was suffered, slaughtered, and murdered for all. He died for everybody, even the sinners out there that will not receive him until they step their first foot into the gates of hell. Jesus still died for that person right here, guys. And so many people want to twist this scripture and say, well, homosexuality and transgender is OK. No, it is not. Sin is sin. Sin is sin. And right now in this world, the biggest sin is twisting, tweaking and perverting the word of God. Let's just stick with the word to say homosexuality is OK. Then you might as well say murder. and uh rape and ancestors, um, um, adultery and being a ch uh, child, uh, uh, a pedophile. You might as well say things like that are okay. Cause God still loves me. Yeah. God loves you, but his word is crystal clear on uh, that outcome. That's all right. I told you I wasn't going to get into it, but guys, I get fired up with people twisting the word of my living father. Amen. So that is our lead off first. You are all one in Christ. Amen. And our devotional today is from Madam Guyon. She, and we're going to try to get through this one. This is a, this is a big one, but uh, it's not worded too bad. I think God will get me through this one. The union of your soul with mine is a union to which my heart fully responds, not in a way of emotional transport, but in the depths of peace. There is nothing of nature in it. Man, we are, guys, understand we are out of this world. We are absolutely supernatural. We are out of this world. Um, it is a union in Jesus Christ, believing in your heart, confessing with your mouth, born again. God, and I don't know if we're going to get there. Let's just keep going. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we are one in a sense of our lost condition. Guys, we all needed Jesus. We all had some, in, in man-made terms, some of us have lived a, 
a rougher life, if you, for lack of better. I don't know what you want to call it, guys. Some of us have been put through the ringer. Some of us have seen some nasty things, and some of us are still going through some nasty things in our life. Some of us have lived an absolutely glorious life, grew up in the church, had a family that loved each other, went to church, prayed together, ate together, was never introduced to sex, drugs, rock and roll, alcohol, none of these things. God, praise God for people like that. And I, and I try to tell people to say, you know, why didn't God give me that life? Because God, and guys, and I'm not taking away from people that have had that. I don't know what you want to call it. Some people say it's silver spoon in your mouth. God, I'm not calling it that. Right here, we're all one in Christ. Maybe God knew that that individual couldn't handle the things you and I have been through. Why have I gone through what I've been going through? Because that's what that's what's in my cup. And God knew he would get me through that. There's things that in this world that I probably would not make it through. And God knew that. That's why I didn't have to walk through that stuff. There's things you're walking through right now that I couldn't walk through. But guess what? God's going to get you through that. Amen. Just let this speak to you, folks. Again, that uh, that sense of lost condition we were all once in and in self-abandonment. Oh, blessed oneness with Christ, where all evils perish, gone, and there remains only the casualties inseparable from the state of humanity. How wonderful is this operation, the sacred mingling of a poor creature with its God, where all the evils of our fallen nature are removed from the depths of the soul. Guys, let this speak. I'm going to start over here because I do want to shout out something here. The sacred mingling of a poor creature, as you and me, guys, hurt, lost, broken, no matter what degree you want to put on it. That oneness with God, that mingling with God, our creator, where all, where all the evils of our fallen nature are removed from the depths of the soul. And the soul in its elemental being is lost in its original. Guys, we, man, we could go on forever. This, this is the entire gospel here. This is the entire Bible, like almost in two sentences. Adam and Eve, understand, male and female, man created, perfect in God's perfect image, flawless, sinless. Guys, I don't know if you've heard it before. I truly believe Adam and Eve, they were born blind. They could not see the world until Satan opened up their eyes. And the scriptures say that. The scriptures say, and then their eyes were open and they could see that they were naked. Guys, sin from the beginning. And what we're saying here, oh, I done lost track of it, folks. Going back to the original. So from Adam and Eve, and do, do you want to break it down and get theological and do the thousands and thousands of years? Go for it. There's nothing wrong with getting in the word of God and digging and eating. But from the time of Adam and Eve until Jesus came, that, that period right in there between guys, there was no redemption. You could believe in God all you wanted. You could follow God's rules all you wanted. You could do all those things you wanted. But it wasn't until Jesus Christ came and died for all of these sins over those thousands and thousands of years up to him and including all the sins since his crucifixion and resurrection. God's all covered for. It's just up to you and me to believe it and receive it and confess it. And then we're restored back to that original, that original creation that God did in the Garden of Eden. And that's what Jesus came. He came back to restore the uh, restore the original blessing. And uh if you read our scriptures, which I'm praying you do, verse 29 says, if you belong to Christ, if you've made him the Lord of your life, that your savior, you've made him your best friend, your big brother, guys, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. And if you go back in Genesis 17, it talks a little bit about the promise to Abraham, guys, understand God, if you read that, there's so much in there about the circumcision. I'm talking about physical circumcision for the men what they had to do back then. Now it's the circumcision of the heart because Jesus says, I have made the old covenant obsolete. So that old covenant with Abraham is gone. We, you cannot and will not and should not try to live according to it. Just live according to the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is how simple God has made it for us. We got to quit trying and distrust God and keep Jesus Christ the Lord of our life. Man, this is some good stuff. Let's keep going. Um, there are all the little ones. There, all the little ones are united in him. These little drops of water resembled in the divine ocean. How swiftly do the streams embrace each other and flow into one channel when the obstructions are removed. When souls become pure in Jesus Christ, they flow into one another with the same rapidity. 
Purity of soul consists in an entire separation from self. Humility and surrender. We talk about that a lot, guys. And blah, blah, blah. There we go. And reunion with God. Die to yourself. Carry your own cross. Get reunited with God daily. Daily, daily, daily. You got to do it. It's, this is not one and done. So many people think it is. We go on about the debate. Can you lose your salvation? Yeah, I truly believe you can. I, I do. Because once you made Jesus Lord of your life, yeah, we're going to mess up. But there's people that say I've made him my, the Lord of my life. And we go back and do those things. I don't care. I'm just a homosexual. I don't care. I'm just a murderer. Well, I don't care. I'm just a pedophile. God, God, no, we. that's why we cannot get too deep into this stuff. Not in this little 15, 12, however many minute clip. Um, the soul can return to self. Right there you go. It has the power and, then, and therefore is not infallible. It seems to me that I am one with him and inseparable, and you are the same. And thus, we are one in him and one with each other. Amen, guys. We're not, I'm just going to leave it at this. I don't think I need to. Let me just close the camera in case you can't see. But guys, just take a second just to stare at that. I'll put a little bit of music on here in a second. But that's, if you look at all those pictures, I mean, there's even a couple pictures of Jesus himself. There's there's centers. I mean, there's all shapes, sizes, color, creed. I mean, most of these pictures are of Jesus, guys, but that's you and me. We are one in Christ. Jesus, we're the church. We're the body, and Jesus is the head. And without the head, we can do nothing. And without the body, Jesus can do nothing. Jesus wants this body, and that's you and me, folks. So, guys, just understand. We need to understand we are one in Christ. We got to get past religion. We got to get past our, our pride. We can't. Me and my brother talk about it all the time. What what is an all black church? What is an all white church? What is it you don't believe in female pastors? Th things like this, guys. That's man made religion, and we're just not going to get into that today. Just understand that we are all one in Christ, and we need to look at each other the same way Christ looks at us. Amen. So, guys, thank you for joining me today. Until tomorrow, Thursday the thirtieth. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see what the Lord says. Then, I love you guys. <laughs>